I live on top of the mountain. Oh, boy. That's my route. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm
confirmation that Myrtle is picking up before we go anywhere. Yes. Are we good with Myrtle? Check, 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 one, check, one, two, check, one, two. How's everybody doing? Check, one, While two. we're doing our little sound check here, I can check, tell y'all some, <clears throat> and clear my throat. Uh, check, check, one, two. I can uh, tell y'all a few things that are exciting, check, one, and that two, is that we've got one, some businesses check, that one, have two, been advertised one, on check, WPAQ. One, two, one. One two, check, check, one, two, one, two, one, 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 this is the best check you'll get. One, two, one, two. That's perfect. We're going to keep talking until you give us a big thumbs up. Has everybody seen my shirt? Did y'all see the... This is a limited edition shirt, only available tonight. We don't have very many. They are over in the uh, the new exhibit where they have an exhibit on old time music, ladies and old time music, as well as WPAQ. So if you'd like to get one of these limited edition shirts, they're available tonight. See my son James, he's over there. Also, if you enjoyed broadcast, A Man and His Dream. How about a round of applause for Jordan Nance, Beth Cookin, broadcast, A Man and His Dream. If you'd 
like to pick up one of those DVDs. They're also available for sale, uh, only $10 uh, tonight. So stop by over there and see James as well. Also, we've got some uh, wonderful newsletters from the Genealogical, that's hard for me to say, Association, and featuring old-time musicians of Surrey County and the surrounding area, and Ralph Everson is uh, featured on the front of that, so pick up one of those as well. Well, I've gotten confirmation uh, that we are uh, ready to go on the air, so uh, welcome to all you folks uh, here in the Earl Theater, and welcome to the folks watching on our YouTube stream. Thank you so much for tuning us in. Let me do this. How about this? Are we, is my light on? Is my light on yet? Can somebody? Yes. Oh, all right, I'm good. Okay, so without further ado, for the 75th anniversary birthday party celebration of WPAQ, welcome to the stage, Travis Fry and Blue Mountain. Yes.
kept seeing the mic go lower and lower and lower. Let's get down, buddy. Well, we are Travis Ryan Blue Mountain. We are so happy to be here. We're not going to waste any time and play some songs for you. We have uh, Henry to come around, kick things off. A little bit of all the good times are past and going. But anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and introduce all the in-laws and outlaws on the stage while we get into another key. Over here on my far right, your left, this is a two-time North Carolina state fiddle champion. He's my road buddy. He is an original member of Blue Mountain. We've been going at this 14 years, and I, you know, he ain't missed many shows. Yeah, that's great. Hard to keep bands together for that many years, but we've done it. And I'm proud to say we still got three original members in the group, and uh, he's one of them does baritone, does some lead singing, and is a heck of a uh, fiddle player and a great friend. That's Mr. Henry May. 
He also recently had a documentary that came out on him. And if you haven't seen it, get in touch with Henry after the show. Uh, our former banjo player, Rebecca Jones, aired it here at the Earl Theater on the Merry Ground several weeks back. And they do have copies. I know Henry doesn't, but he can direct you uh, if you'd be interested in those copies. So, Over here on the bass, he's got a PhD on how to whip up on that thing. And he is no stranger to playing with us. He's helped us out many times. And I had to ask him this time as well. He does a wonderful job from Stewart, Virginia. That's Doug Joyce. <laughs> and behind me here on the mandolin, he's the Mountain Morning and Mountain Midday host on radio station WPAQ. And uh, he hasn't got to come to a lot of these things because uh, Spigma is always happening this weekend. So he's always at Spigma. Spigma happened early this year. And not to crash party, but it was the first year that uh, PAQ or Tim wasn't nominated for about 14, 15 years. So we hope to change that next year. We'll be back better than ever, but uh, he was glad to be here tonight, and he puts up with me. I'm his son. Don't let him tell you we're brothers, because it's just a lie. But that's my dad, Mr. Tim Fry. Yeah. And over here on the five-string banjo, folks, driving to the five, he is a one-time member of Blue Mountain, and uh, we've asked him to fill in for us to help us out on banjo. He does all the parts. He can sing lead, tenor, and baritone, and you and Doug are going to have a, another show right after this with the Country Boys, but they do a wonderful job, and, and, and this guy's great. I love going to his house. He treats you like family, and uh, I tell you, we have a lot of good times together. That's Mr. Hersey McMillan. Yeah. And the fellow with the guitar is my son, and uh, I've known him all his life. <laughs> and uh, we, of course, uh, he grew up down in Shelton Town. That's where we're from. And you know, back uh, many years ago, uh, he when he first got his license, you know, it was a fellow around that which some of I won't call any names, but kind of kind of like drink and drive. And Travis always, he grew up in church, he's always worried about this fella and tried to witness to him. One day he got behind him coming up through 89. The guy was white line to white line to white line to white line. I see, he's cutting me off back there. Anyway, white line, and Travis was behind him and he was kind of worried. Well, fa Travis finally got a place where he could pass him, so I'm going to get by him because the fella went to light a cigarette when he did let go of the wheel and car straightened up. So Travis went by him. He's looking back, just worried, and he got to looking too much and run off the road and hit the telephone pole. <laughs> well, old drunk pulled up behind him, and it tore Travis's car all to pieces. The old drunk pulled up behind him and said, Son, are you okay? He said, Yeah, I'm fine. Ain't a scratch on me. He said, Man, you's lucky. Travis said, Aha, a chance to witness. He said, I wasn't lucky. He said, The Lord was riding with me. Old drunk looked at him and said, Well, you better let him ride with me. You're going to kill him. <laughs> Travis Fry, right here. All right, Henry, let it go. A little this and that.
<laughs> they said the left speaker wasn't working. We can't tell because we ain't got monitors. All right, let's do a little Milwaukee. Here I come.
out of here. We're going to get uh, Hershey to come around and pick you a tune. We're going to drive it, folks. So if you want to dance, now is your chance to do it, because he's going to bring the drive to the five. Forget the city, you old man. Hey, don't be, don't, oh, that's fighting word there. 17, I'm sorry. 17. I'm sorry, I'm tuning right on the mic. For all those out there in Radio Land, I'm apologizing as I speak. All right, let's do a little right. bit of John Henry. Uh, well, I'd like to send this out to some special friends okay. who came up to see me tonight. We've married Steve here. This is oh, John. Right. John Henry. <laughs> Myself, but uh, here's another original tune that uh, Tim brought to the band that we hope you enjoy. This cold weather sure does make you think of somewhere nice and warm, don't you? And so uh, we're trying to squeeze in as many tunes as we can, but we hope that you'll like this one. This a little bit of Siesta Key. Oh, 
sure which one we'll go with the two because we've got a lot of great music uh, coming up for you and let's give WPAQ a hand for putting this on I want to thank Kelly Epperson so much for having us this is our first year uh, playing for the WPAQ birthday party and so we hope you'll have us back I know I gotta be quick Kelly thank you buddy thank you I want to thank Ralph Epperson. He hired me when nobody else probably would have. Because I still talk like this a whole lot when I went to apply. And he told me I had to pronunciate things a little better. Ralph, I love you to death. I love Kelly. They've been just, they're just always been like family. Thank you, Kelly. Love you. Thank you. 
Travis Fry. Hope we see you somewhere down the line. Check us out on Facebook. That's the next best place to hire us and finding out where we're going to be. We'll be at Chris Holly's next. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. You know, I'm tuning in and it really don't matter because I'm going to tune all night. He'll get it there sooner or later. All right, ready? Get it.
have a whole lot more music coming up, and also we need to uh, make sure that we mention our sponsors for all you folks listening on the air tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're being brought to you in our broadcast by Dr. John L. Grabbit, Dentistry with Heart, Garson McMillan Realty and Auction Company, Mount Airy Equipment, Nestor's Hosiery, O.C.'s Restaurant, Old Mill Music and Sound, Phillips Motor Company, Surrey Communications, and W.E.H.C. And we do want to tell you folks, um, I'm going to take a real quick break here from the music while we get things set up again, that we do have our uh, special edition t-shirts available tonight over there in the uh, new restroom. Also check out the exhibit on women and old time music. We only have 75 of these shirts available, so you might want to pick one up tonight if you'd like to have one. And once sold, there are not going to be any more printed. Also get a copy of the broadcast of Man and His Dream documentary for my son James over there. So uh, it's a pleasure to have uh, all of you folks with us today in the Earl Theater. I know y'all are all um, avid WPAQ listeners, but do we have any first-time guests here for our birthday celebration? Anybody not been here to our birthday celebration before? Well, welcome. We're so glad to have y'all. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we are so thankful also to the Surrey Arts Council for the beautiful Earl Theater. Let's give them a hand for providing this wonderful venue for us to have uh, this event happen. as well as the merry-go-round each and every Saturday. I'd like to uh, also personally thank Kelly Epperson. Uh, I'm so pleased to be the host of the Merry-Go-Round. I appreciate uh, the opportunity to be with you folks on the air also every week on WPAQ. And I thank him and uh, his dad as well. We do need to uh, mention, I'm going to miss one, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can remember. Kelly, shout it out if I forget. We have um, five businesses that have been advertising with us since we went on the air in 1948. Moody Funeral Services, Northern Regional Hospital, which was, I guess, Martin Memorial Hospital at the time. We've even got a picture of Dr. Moyer Martin, right, at the station. Yeah, see, I'm coming across that. Also, uh, Mount Airy Oil and Gas. Okay, we've got two more. Who are they? Help me. Hutchins! Hutchins! Hutchins advertising with us for 75 years. Isn't that great that we got businesses that's been around for 75 years in the community of Mount Airy? Okay, what was the one I missed? I missed one more. Got Moody's. Derby. 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 Uh, no, it's not. It's not. It's not the Derby. They've been on for a long time, but somebody's going to tell us, and they're going to tell me, Jenny, I told you that 12 times earlier. That's okay. Set that down anywhere. Brannock and Hyatt Furniture. How can I forget? Brannock and Hyatt Furniture has been advertising with us for 75 years. So we thank those folks. Uh, we went around to uh, those businesses Kelly did and presented them with a plaque and um, to thank them for being with us all the years that we've been on the air. So let's give our legacy businesses a big round of applause. Well, if they're just about set to go, Percy, are they going to let you play with them as well? Uh, I think so. We'll <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So if they're just about ready and set to go, uh, it is my pleasure. Yeah, it's getting tired already. We're going to have to go over there and fix that thing. It needs to be tightened. These folks um, are outstanding musicians, and I think that I have not got to hear them live since uh, last year about this time, so I'm really excited to make welcome for our 75th birthday celebration here at the Earl Theater. Help me make a welcome to the stage, the Country Boys. <laughs>
radio station in the world. That's all right. As far as any radio station playing bluegrass and old time music, it is absolutely the best. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
Debbie Pierce, you think you kill me? I was five years old when that station come on air. Y'all be hearing these words, Bum Beetle, I know. I remember Uncle Henry, John Johnson, Blue Eyed, Pretty Blue Eyed Odessa, all them people. I've been listening to it ever since it came on the stage on the air. But uh, anyway, we appreciate WGAQ letting us come and do our little part. And uh, thank you a lot, Kelly, for, for what you do for, for the Blue Christ music and, and for the local bands. That's what it's all about.
down to the station one night and do some work and, and mama said well good said I'll get Kelly's bed and I sat back and watched my TV show well she got Kelly in bed and got to sit down and had more got to sit down Kelly said mama need a drink of water so she got up and took him a drink of water come back and sit back down and been in the nurse for many two and said mama I need a drink of water. <laughs> so she got up and took another drink of water, a glass of water, and said, Now, Kelly said, You lay down. I said, If you don't uh, lay down, I said, Next time I'm going to wear you out. So she went back downstairs and sat in there a few minutes. Kelly said, Mama, I said, When you come up here to wear me out, would you bring me a glass of water? <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's probably the worst thing Kelly ever done. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs>
of WPAQ, you know, it takes all of us working together. It takes uh, the, the family, the Everson family, to keep the radio station going, but it also takes the employees, it takes the listeners, it takes the advertisers, it takes the musicians, it takes everybody working together to keep this kind of music alive. And I think that uh, if Ralph was here tonight, he'd be mighty proud of how things have turned out in this at 75th anniversary. Uh, we're going to take this time, I'm Tim Fry, in case you didn't know, I imagine most of you did, but we're going to take this time, I'm going to ask Kelly and anybody that's, uh, any of the employees that's here, I know Kenneth's here somewhere, uh, any of the employees that are here uh, and uh, family, the Everson family, y'all come on up uh, on stage, I think Kelly uh, wants to maybe say a few words and then we'll get the Slate Mountain Ramblers up here. So. I hear Kelly back here. I hear Kenneth. I see Kenneth. Yeah. I, I got. I gotta tell you this. Kenneth knows what I'll tell. He, he and my wife were roomies at one time. They found out they was both born November the 9th, nineteen fifty-nine, at the same hospital. They were in the nursery together. So. <laughs> They always kind of joke about that back and forth. The other day, he looked at him and said, how old is Cheryl? And then it hit him. He's like, oh yeah, it's the same age as me. That's because age is creeping up on you, Ken. All right, I see we've got some, uh, we've got Kenneth down here. Kelly's here. I see Philip. Right. Yeah, we're getting folks. Come on up on stage. Oh, yeah. Jenny. Jennifer, all the folks here. I have to be real nice to Jennifer. She signs my check. Kelly may tell me what to do when Jennifer signs the checks. So I have to be good to her. There's my other boss when I'm at the other station. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> hey, hey. All right, Kelly. I'm going, turn, I'm going to turn it over to Kelly Everson. Give a big hand to Kelly Everson. Uh, thank you, Tim. And I appreciate what you said when you guys were playing. That meant a lot to me. Let's give Tim Fry a big hand. You can hear him on WPAQ. He usually gets here about 8.05 every morning. Sometimes, if we're lucky, 8.02. 
But he always makes it. He always comes in. He says, oh, that old bus, or that, that concrete truck in my way, he picked this day to come of all days. Yeah, moped, yeah. But I, I just I just want to say how much I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, yeah, I feel like my dad is here with us. And just every time we get together like this, I, I feel like he's kind of like he's got his hand on my shoulder. And uh, maybe he's taking all this in. And we've got a big radio audience, and I know a lot of those people wanted to be here tonight, and for some reason or another, some people are sick, not able to be here. My sister, uh, Deborah Stringer, she's sick and not able to be here, and others in our family. But I'd like for you to uh, yell really loud, I'll count to three, and welcome our radio audience on WPAQ, Mount Airy, North Carolina, okay? The count of three. One, two, three. Yeah. All right. I bet you they heard you. I got a feeling they heard you. I just want to mention everybody up here on this stage, and uh, I'm not going to take much time, but I just want to acknowledge the ones who are here and how much they mean to me. Jenny Lowry. Let's give Jenny a hand. She does a lot of MC work, WBAQ Mary go around, and she's got a regular show on Thursdays from two to six, sometimes longer. And then we got Mr. Tim Fry. He's got a large cup of coffee in his hand and a smile on his face. See you bright and early in the morning at 8.05 a.m. Tim Fry, ladies and gentlemen. And here's one of the new fellas, and he's not very new if you look at him, but Kenneth Barrier, ladies and gentlemen. You hear uh, him on the Blue Ridge Spotlight. And uh, he played with Summer Wages, a fine dobro player, I'll tell you that. And then we got Mr. Philip Adams. <laughs> Philip Adams, one of our new ones. And uh, he, he's on Sundays and Sunday afternoons, every Sunday afternoon, and then... Every other Saturday, you catch Philip. And then we got my son, Hal Emerson. There's another generation coming along. He teaches down at East Surrey High School in the graphic design and uh, radio and different things. And his lovely wife, Lindsay Emerson. They have two of my grand dogs. Yes, indeed. You didn't know I was a proud grand dog owner or grandfather of grand dogs, did you? All right. And uh, this next lady right here, this is uh, Jennifer Epperson. Yeah. She's, uh, she has a little something to do. I, she signs the checks and she pays the bills. And that's plenty to do right there if she didn't do anything else. So I appreciate Jennifer. And we have Brian and Annette Sizer. This is my uh, nephew, Brian, his lovely wife, Annette, and uh, he's a part of uh, WBRF, Classic Country, 98.1, and of course, Ralph's grandson, and, and Hal is uh, Ralph's grandson. Do we, have we got everybody up here? And Deborah, uh, I mentioned her earlier, but Deborah Stringer uh, is uh, my uh, other, uh, well, the only sister I have. I don't have any brothers, there's just two of us. But I hate she couldn't be here tonight. Say a little prayer for her, she's not feeling well. But Debbie Stringer, and she's WBRF as well. And I think I've said enough. But I wanted to just pass along just one thing. A lady called, and I'm not going to mention who she is, but she left me the sweetest message earlier today. And she said, if you want me to, I'll jot down all the things I can remember and recall back in the early days of the station. She said, I wanted to mention one thing. There was a girl, a little girl, and I can't remember her name. Fiscus, I think was her last name, Kathy Fiscus. And she fell in a well. And little girl, like 10 years old, and my dad stayed on the air. He himself stayed on the air while they worked to try to get the little girl out of the well. 
Unfortunately, she didn't make it, but it was an all day long event. Everybody in the whole community was all worried. But that's the kind of person my dad was. He had a big heart and he loved to provide uh, this bluegrass and Blue Ridge Mountain style street music. He loved the community he served and the community loved him back. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be up here. We wouldn't be here tonight listening to all this music. I'm glad and thankful and so blessed that God allowed him to be here and to provide a family and to put his family into radio. He could have stayed in farming, and I'll tell you this one little story. He went off to college and he got homesick. And he came home and he told his, his pa, Pops, he called him Pops. He said, Pops, I tell you what, I think I'll just stay here. I don't think I want to go back to school, go back to college. And uh, my grandfather said, okay, boy, tell you what, you come on out here and meet me in a few minutes, grab some shovels and hose. We're going to make some new ground. So they went out in the field, not too far from the home place, and they worked a little while. My dad dug around in the dirt a little bit, enough to where he finally said, you know, Pops, I think I'll go back to school <laughs> after all. And I'm thankful he did. All right, you having a good time? You ready for more? How much more? Lots more. We got the Slate Mountain Ramblers. We got the uh, Nun Brothers. We got Harrison Ridge. Almost said Harrison Ford. We don't have him. We don't need him. We got plenty of good stuff here as it is. All right, Tim and uh, Jenny, come on up and do your MC thing. Thank you, all of you listening on WPAQ at home or wherever you may be, FM 106.7 and around the world at WPAQ740.com. And, and uh, yell real loud to Jonathan Lightfoot. He's up there on the board. He probably feels left out. He's up there riding the controls. Give Jonathan a big hand. All right. All right. Come on. All right. Another big hand for Kelly Epperson and all the folks there on stage. Uh, do want to uh, remind you of our sponsors. We've got sponsors that you have to have the sponsors or else the radio station doesn't function. We got light bills, phone bills. And I like to pay my bills too, so <laughs> we do have to have sponsors. And we got some great sponsors uh, for the broadcast tonight. Dr. John L. Gravit Dentistry with Heart, Garson McMillan Real Estate and Auction Company, uh, Mount Airy Equipment, Nestor's Hosiery, uh, I've got Nestor's hosiery socks on, but cowboy boots, you can't see them, but trust me, they're there. Uh, O.C.'s Restaurant, Old Mill Music, that's Jenny and Rick there. And uh, Phillips Motor Company, if you hear that ad, I did buy that last car I got at Phillips Motor Company. Uh, Surrey Communications and W.E.H.C. Also, don't forget, we still got the t-shirts out there, the 75th anniversary t-shirts. We only had 75 made. So when they're gone, they're gone. They're $20, they're all long sleep. Uh, we have some legacy sponsors, folks that's been with us for years and years and years. Uh, Moody Funeral Services, Northern Regional Hospital, Mount Airy Oil and Gas, uh, also Hutchins Cleaners and Laundry, and Brannock and Hyatt Furniture. All those folks have been with us for years and years and years. And uh, of course, we've had a lot of folks connected with the station for many, many years. You know, we just lost Raiden Puckett Reverend Ray Puckett this week, and Reverend Puckett had been on there since 1959. But because of uh, uh, the miracle of tapes and things, this program's still going to continue. Uh, so we're glad of that. And glad for all of y'all. I see a lot of you just like family. We've seen each other for years. I, as they said, I've had a few years that I haven't been able to be here. I've been working at WPAQ. Uh, well, since 1987, but I've been doing the job I've been doing now for 19 years. And WPAQ was nominated every year at Spigma for the radio station of the year. And for some reason, we didn't get it this year. 
Uh, didn't get nominated, but uh, that's usually where I'm at and why I'm not here. But we're going to work on this if we can get nominated again next year. And so we need you folks to vote. If you see the stigma nomination, please vote for WPAQ. I don't think anybody plays more traditional bluegrass and old-time music uh, than WPAQ. I know, uh, we got things just about ready. I talked to them. I know how to talk. But let me do one other thing. Then. Well, I see Richard still getting things ready there. There's a big bluegrass show that's also celebrating its 75th year. It started in 1948. Sandy Ridge Elementary Show. Uh, the school down there, Sandy Ridge Elementary, uh, celebrating 75 years. It'll be Saturday, March 18th. Allen Bybee and Grass Town will be there. The Churchman will be there. And uh, tickets are $20. And children under six admitted free and proceeds benefit the Sandy Ridge Elementary School. So make your plans for that. All right, we ready to go? All right. Get your flat foot and shoes on. Put your hands together. Make welcome to Slate Mountain Ramblers. know the Emerson family all these years. So Y'all just hit yourself to the dancing. We'll just play some uh, play you some dancing tunes. Do uh, do a little bit of let me follow right there. Follow my knees.
ways for me. I've been playing the fiddle 50 years this year. And I played uh, the merry-go-round, all 50 of them, except the ones that the pandemic had to shut down and didn't nobody get up there to play. So uh, we appreciate the, the WPAQ for having all this music and stuff. And it's a lot of different kinds of music. Uh, the, all these tunes that I've learned come from that radio station with all these people that's around the wall here. So uh, it just, uh, hopefully it'll continue. We'll take just a second to introduce everybody to you. For those of us who have not seen us before, I know uh, Kelly asked earlier how many this was their first birthday party with WPAQ. So I've been here playing the guitar from right here in Mount Airy, North Carolina, Mr. Randy Hyatt. Here in the middle playing the fiddles, my dad, Mr. Richard Bowman. Back behind playing the bass is my mom, Barbara Bowman. Yeah. And my name is Marsha Todd. We appreciate y'all coming out. Yeah. We're going to do one little bit of red mountain wine. Oh, my God. 
Play with two students and two here. It's called Annie Laurie.
<laughs> We're going to do a gospel number here for you. Come on up here, Malin. important one up here. <coughs> <coughs> we'll get Malin to sing one. We want to send this out to Miss Shirley Tate. A little bit of I shall not be moved. I thought he was going to say she gets it from him, and I was going to say, no, she don't. <laughs> we don't want nobody to leave. I want to say. Great job. Good job, Maylin. Good job. A sugar hand. A little bit of the Surrey County National Anthem, a little bit of Sally Ann for you.
over here in A real quick before we run out of time. We had some requests today. Again, thank you, WPAQ, Mr. Kelly Epperson. Yeah, we got some birthdays to celebrate, too. Is she? I bet she ain't even in here. Today is Miss Sylvia's birthday. Miss Jenny Lowry's mother. Larry's work. Is she in here? She was. Happy birthday to you. That's all you got. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> She's a good singer. She's a singer. So my mom had a birthday last Wednesday. And Daddy sold. He forgot he's got one coming up Monday. <laughs> I'm trying to forget all this birthday. <laughs> I was going to get him a card. He'll be 70. He's looking at me. Tell you about all that great Santa Claus look going on. I was going to get him a card, a 70 card. You know they don't even make him. <laughs> he said, oh, they don't even make him. I can't find one. Of course, I was cheap. I was at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> He's barely going to read it throw it away, so I'll just tell him happy birthday when Monday gets here, I reckon. All good times, man. Yes, oh, <laughs> uh, we had a couple requests. One of them was a little bit of a lost Indian. He's thinking about how it starts. Y'all realize what he's doing, right? <laughs> really, what I was thinking about this this side's tuned one way. This side over here is tuned the other. I've got to figure out how to tune in the middle of it. You know, so He's I, got to figure out which so gear they don't make, make me switch. sound so bad. But let me tell you all this little story. And this is a true story. It won't, not take, to it won't take long. We always set our tarps and stuff up at the Galax Fillers Convention. And, and I just set up, sit down up for the whole week and play. And all of the younger people comes and just sits down. They want to learn these old tunes that, that I know. And... We'd been sitting there two or three hours, and the kids would come and go, and you know, them young ones, they, I don't know how they get so good to start with, but they just, they, they, they real, really, really good. They, they, they don't put no, no bobble notes in and tunes and stuff. Anyway, we'd sit there and play, and, and this fella, we kind of took just a little bit of a break. This fella comes over, I'd been sitting there listening to us. This has been going on two or three hours, and he comes over and he said, uh, all them kids that's coming around here said, I declare they they good musicians, ain't they? Said, just play, this is pretty and smooth. And, and he said, uh, you kind of a rough fitter, ain't you? <laughs> and I said, yeah, but you got to understand these kids is, is young and, and just getting started out. I said, they'll get it. I said, they'll, they'll get where they play like me. <laughs> a little bit of a lost Indian. <laughs>
าหัดาเดิ
70 years ago. Yeah. Get them up here and do a little bit of going home. This is a this is a tune that Ernest East and Scotty and Max know. All I've used to do a long time ago, and I learned to play it with them. And then Marcin, Martin, and Maven come along. They learned to play it. Don't know where the tune come from. I ain't never heard the tune. I ain't never heard nobody else do the tune really. Might get Kenneth Ferry to look at it maybe sometime or another. But just see where that tune come from. Going home. Fiddle out of tune. I was somewhere one time we was playing. It was outside, and, and I said, but All these lights is getting my fiddle out of tune. And one fellow sat back there. He said, Ain't no lights, you outside, buddy. <laughs>
Dr. Kennedy. Yeah. Let me thank you for inviting us down to be part of this 75th birthday shindy. We're going to do you one more. We're going to do a little bit of Sirwood Mountain. All right, Dennis, might as well get on up, back up there. Oh, no, right right That's two minutes. <laughs> music so you just stay right here with us and don't go anywhere and all the folks uh, listening online I know we got a lot of folks listening online we appreciate that uh, people over the airwaves Jonathan up there at the station buddy we appreciate you up there keeping things going Jonathan life but we are celebrating the 75th year of WPAQ and if those walls could talk up there we well, we probably have uh, more told than what we would want. But uh, lots of great, uh, I have a lot of great memories up there. I know a lot of you have memories of coming to WPAQ or listening to WPAQ. And uh, the great thing is, except for the carpet on the floor, a lot of it just really has not changed through the years. I know a lot of you uh, here knew Ralph Everson. And uh, you know what a great man he was, had a great sense of humor. You might not have known that, but Ralph had a great sense of humor. Okay. And I always uh, enjoyed working with Ralph when I first came to work there. I had to work with Ralph Epperson himself. We did the Blue Ridge Spotlight. And Ralph was the first person I ever knew that ate health food. Before, I mean, when I went to work in 87 and I didn't know anybody. I'd never seen you over covered raisins. Now you see him everywhere, but in 1987 you didn't see him, but his wife had him eating healthy food. And of course he would eat yogurt covered raisins during the Blue Ridge Spotlight, and I had almond joys. <laughs> so one day Ralph says, uh, Tim, uh, that looks awfully good. I said, well yours does too. He said, you want to switch? I said, sure. And so we got to where we were switching and I'd eat the health food and he'd eat the candy and he'd say, now we mustn't tell Mrs. Everson about this. <laughs> a lot of great memories of Ralph. Uh, I always like to tell the one that I hadn't been working there long 
and uh, you know, I, Ralph found out I had a degree in electronics. So he said, hey, would you help me work down at the tower when we go to low power? I said, sure, I will, because you know, he knew I had a degree in electronics. We're working down there, and I don't know what he touched. He had a pair of pliers, and I really don't know what he touched, but when he touched it, it arced, it went pow, and I, you could see the fire, and he just went mm. And looked around at me and said, don't touch that, it's hot. <laughs> I went home, I told my wife, I said, you know, you've heard all this about Ralph Epperson being a Southern gentleman, a Christian man? She said, yeah, I said, it's true, because anybody else would be cussing with that. <laughs> yeah, that's all he said was, yeah, don't touch it, it's hot. But I always looked, uh, I, always, uh, I always felt like Ralph was trying to help everybody that, that worked there. I, I never felt like Ralph was trying to criticize anything I did or anybody up there, he'd always tell you everything you did well before he ever told you what you was doing wrong. And uh, he, he always, I think, tried to help everybody uh, do better and better themselves. And I always uh, appreciated Ralph for that. And uh, a lot of great, great, I'll tell, I'll, I know we got a little time, so I'll tell this one too. You know, Ralph didn't want certain things on the air, didn't want to say certain things. So uh, I hadn't been there, oh gosh, I hadn't been there maybe a week and they gave me Rhonda Vincent to interview. And so I was a little concerned because I'm you know, big star and I'm new and I had, through the family, I had been sitting down talking to the rock and roll DJ Rick Dees. Uh -oh. And Travis asked me, he was talking to Travis, was there and Travis said, you know, ask him about interviewing, and Ricky told Travis, he said, ask good questions, say, don't say where were you born, say how was you raised? And he said, I asked Amy Grant one time, is there anything you do before you uh, go on stage, a ritual? She said, oh, I eat vinegar and salt potato chips because it clears my throat. So I'm having this hard time with Rhonda, and I thought, I'm gonna ask her that question. Now, Ralph is up front. I said, Rhonda, is there anything you do, you know, before you go on stage, any ritual? And she said, yeah, I always pee. And, and I, I went, oh no, and Ralph stopped in his tracks and just looked in the back. And I was trying to get her off the subject, and she kept going, you know, my mom says if I drink lemonade, I can't go 10 miles before I have to stop. And she just kept, and I was like, oh boy. But it just, Ralph just went. So anyway. But I did get right in the back. I got to tell that tale on her one time when I had to introduce her. And she was signed an autograph. She said, stall, stall. So I just told that story I just told you. And I said, as soon as Rhonda gets through with her ritual, she'll be out here in a minute. So, <laughs> so I did get her back. Are we, are we about ready to go, Rick? Do you need a screwdriver or a sledgehammer? <laughs> Both. <laughs> I think we're about ready. I know I am. I know I'm not ready. He's saying you're not ready. Yes, sir. These guys right here, uh, I picked with them. Gosh, I guess they were in elementary school. I don't know. And, uh, and I, they did go to school, Jenny. And I did too. But my school's not there. The church I go to is sitting where my school was. I went to Bannertown Elementary. But anyway, I started picking with these guys. I guess they were maybe sixth grade or something, and I wasn't too far ahead of you. And uh, we all picked. I, I remember playing for East Series graduation with you guys one time, too. So uh, I've known these boys a long time, and they're some of the nicest guys you ever going to want to meet. And they're going to play you some hard driving traditional bluegrass. Put your hands together for the Nun Brothers.
We just, we just going to try to play all the music we can for y'all tonight. Try not to talk too much. Play a little bit of Jimmy's Arms, I'm Not Afraid, right there, Alan. <laughs>
Mr. Levi here right there. How long have you been playing that, Levi? How long have you been playing that bass? A year and a half. About a year and a half. All right. Four years. Four years. Four years. It sounds like you've been playing 40, though. Four years. Four years. Four years. Four years. Four years. Four I'm going to see if that young man back on that base can keep up with me. Now's the time to keep the test. I'm going to test him out. Y'all really watch him now. Huh? He's going to slap it. Hopefully I won't break no string. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. sing this little, little song right here. We do it every year. We try to get Kelly to help. It's the only song I know. All right, ready? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy You got a cake this year? Huh? You got a cake this year? Yeah, I hit it. Oh, you did? <laughs> Shame on him, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, hey, Lord and mercy. We came up here one time, I believe, we got some little piece of WKQ birthday cake. That was really good. But anyway, yeah. Lord and mercy, y'all. We'll slow it down for you right here. Thank goodness.
There you go. There you go. I, I just wondered how many of y'all remember those days where we could go out there in the yard and hear that sound. Oh, I, I just love that so much. Hey, listen, y'all, while we playing the bird songs, we got a good friend. His wife is in the Pasaf Pasaf Hospital right now. They're actually watching us by YouTube. And he wanted us to play Listen to the Mark Mockingbird for him. Mr. Paul Roberts and Patches. We send it, we send him this and out to y'all by, by YouTube. Here we go. Listen to the Mockingbird. <laughs> So we actually got our, a couple, both of these is our great nephews, and um, they would be, let's see, they are our great nephews right now. Yeah, our great nephews, so uh, anyway, they would be my dad's, which was Clarence Holden Nunn, uh, they would be his great, 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 you know, I believe, right? Great, yeah. Just great? Okay. Yeah, okay. But anyway. <laughs> Y'all help me out here. <laughs> but anyway, I had a really hard yet day yesterday. We worked all day out in the wind. Boy, I mean, it really got me. But anyway, uh, I'm just really, really proud to have these two young men up here. They actually uh, just as good as gold to good as gold to us. And I'm glad they learned how to play. I think it they, they came down from their great grandpa to them, which is over done. And, and to me, now I told this every time I play up here. The WPAQ radio, uh, I mean, uh, the birthday party. Mama always told us that before Rapper Epperson, when he was in the process of trying to make a radio station, I guess you could say, 
that he would call my daddy. My daddy played fiddle. He would go up there and he would play in front of microphones and whatever he had back then. And said Ralph would go out in the front yard and try to hear it over a transistor radio. And that's sort of how they got it all started. But anyway, that was a long time ago. But I want these two young men right here to play y'all a little bit of song that he wants to play. And you follow him and then we'll come in and help y'all out here in just a few minutes. It's called Angelina Baker.
Cameron, Cameron went to buy some land a few days ago. I won't tell us. I hope it's okay, Kevin. But anyway, he, he went to a lawyer and he's trying to get it all fixed up. And the lawyer told him, he said, I ain't never fixed up no deed for no 18-year-old before. You the first. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that was pretty good. The boys worked hard and can do anything. Run, run equipment, run tractors, make hay, you name it. He can do it. Let's go see. We got two more. Huh? Two more. Two more. Okay. All right. I, I know. Well, but I don't know. Uh, I was wanting to do a gospel song for y'all, right quick. One of the greatest songs I've ever, ever heard in my life, and I definitely love to hear Marty keep us off on the banjo. Y'all welcome to help me sing it. Well, my voice is sort of giving away a little bit on me. <clears throat> anyway, I do thank the Lord for what He's done for me. He's been good to me. I'm telling you, you know, he's good to us all. Let me get me a cough drop right quick. I'm gonna need it for this. But anyway, this song's called How Great Thou Art. Oh, yeah.
know the radio station is actually 75 years old now in just a few days. And uh, me and Alton, we've been playing music now for 50 years. You believe that? Yeah, really getting old. <laughs> so anyway. Lord have mercy. I know. When tell them. We're 14 years old. We're 14 when we first started playing on WBAQ. So we've been playing on WBAQ a long time. I'll never forget the first time I went into Studio A and I just really was just... Didn't really know how to play a guitar. We played the Orange Blossom Special. I was beating myself to death. I was afraid my arm was going to fall off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But anyway, Kelly, WPAQ, we sure do appreciate y'all asking us to play. It's always an honor. And we'd like to have done a lot more. I had, um, we practiced 100 songs probably last night. But anyway, but I won't do this right here. We always try to do it for you. It's called the Orange Boston Special, and it could be a little story in this train. I wish I had time to tell you, but I don't, all I want to say is all aboard. <laughs> all right, are we?
Hey, I got, got a little something right here I want to leave out to tell y'all right quick. He's he got a little bitty joke he wants to tell you right quick. I like this. Pretty good. Me and my grandpa used to walk down these old train tunnels, you know. And uh, my grandpa, he'd say, I believe there's one of them pretty girls in one of them train tunnels. Because whenever a train goes in, he goes, woo, woo. And whenever it comes out, he goes, <laughs> Another big hand for the Dunn Brothers. And don't go anywhere, we got another band here, and I, I'll tell you what, I think we've had a good time tonight. I know I've had a good time, I hope y'all have too. And uh, I, I do appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to be here tonight. I had to miss some of those. I'm glad that I'm able to be here tonight. And uh, also, you know, folks, uh, WBAQ, through the years has been so much to so many uh, people, and I know a lot of us here tonight have had relatives that have uh, either played on BAQ, worked at BAQ, or it's been part of the soundtrack to their lives. So uh, we really appreciate the Everson family and everything that they have done through the years. And, uh, and I was telling you those stories about Ralph. I have a lot of good Ralph Everson stories. Uh, I haven't been working there long, and Christmas time, and you know, at Christmas time, PAQ plays just about every kind of music. So this, I, this is probably my first Christmas there, and there I had a stack of 45 records, and I had them laying there, and there was one there that said Jeff Foxworthy, Red Dead Christmas. I hadn't heard it. I'd never heard that song at that time, and Kelly was there. I said, Kelly, you think this is all right to play? Play something funny? He said, well, Daddy would have marked it if it wasn't. About the time he got to the part about the nutcracker and the beer and everything, I said, oh, no. I am in trouble. So, well, if I take it off, it'll call more attention to it. So I said, well, I'll, I'll just let it finish and all. But when it finished, the phone rang, and sure enough, it was Ralph. Ralph always talked slow, and, and Ralph always would be, you know, hi, how you doing? This is the fastest I ever heard him talk. He said, Tim, we're still friends, but you can't play that song. And I said, Ralph, I had no idea all that was on there. I've already taken it out of the control room. He said, good, can you get it out of the station? <laughs> So I always respected Ralph, and uh, I, I'll tell you another, how many of you, any of you ever heard the Ode to the Little Brown Shack out back? It was a song by Billy Ed Wheeler. And I played it one day in the comedy section, and Ralph called me, and he says, Tim, I know by today's standards, that is really mild, but I'd rather not play anything that pertained to bodily functions. I said, okay, Ralph, and I got thinking about it. He banned that song when it came out in the 1960s. And the thing is, he never changed. He never changed, always consistent. There's one thing about it, you can let your kids listen to WPAQ. We may cut up and carry on and have a big time, but we're never going to do anything that you couldn't let your kids or your grandkids or anything listen to. I think one of the best compliments that uh, we've had is a man called me was listening in Massachusetts, and he said and the, he said something that Ralph Epperson would have loved. He said, "You know what? Y'all are not a full time Christian station, but I tell you, full time Christians." And that's exactly what Ralph Epperson would want. Exactly what he would want. So we got the, well, this is our final band tonight. Y'all had a good time. Thank you for coming out. This is the 75th, and I hope we have at least 75 more. I don't know if I'll be around to see it, but I hope we have 75 more. Maybe some of these young folks around here will be around to see it. I'm going to turn these fellas loose right here. They're going to play hard and fast because three of them's got to get up and preach in the morning. <laughs> And the ones that don't preach, they'll just be taking naps in the pews, I guess. 
Y'all got to y'all have preach good because a lot going to be wore out. <laughs> Oh, man. Ralph liked to tell the story. I, I can't remember the preacher's name, but these preachers will uh, relate to this. He was preaching. He was preaching real hard about what women was wearing. It was about the time the mini skirts come out. And he was preaching against these short dresses that the women was wearing. And he was preaching. He was in Studio A, preaching live. And his suspenders busted and his bridges fell all the way down to his ankles. <laughs> and he said, folks, I preached so hard, I preached out of my bridges, I'm still wearing more clothes than half of women in this town. <laughs> all right, we're going to turn, y'all ready? Uh, yeah. We're going to turn these guys loose. Now, they have won all kinds of uh, fiddlers, conventions, and awards, and some of the nicest guys, and I... I'm not kidding, three of them are preachers. Some of the nicest guys you ever go on meet, and some great music too. Put your hands together, Harrison Reed.
started out playing together and uh, they came from a musical background my grandpa played a claw hammer banjo and uh, his mom my grandpa's mother passed away when he was in his 20s and uh, as I was growing up I used to see the words to this song laying around now and then don't forget dear mother and uh, I was I was very young when I asked about it the first time and daddy said that's a song that grandpa wrote and it's a song that relates to that you can feel what's happening in it uh, he's encouraging everybody else to uh, don't don't take your mama for granted be thankful you've got her while you've got her and I hope this is a blessing to you this one was written by Arlie Harrison we have recorded it it's going to be coming on uh, coming out on a CD that we've got upcoming and uh, we're excited about it. And all three of the songs you've heard, or the two of the songs that you've heard here are gonna be a part of that. But you listen to this, see what you think. Don't forget Dear Mother.
guitar winner at the Galax Fiddlers Convention, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And let's have him come up and sing one for you. Uh, he's, he has written one that's a great one. Tell him about it and we'll get her going. Yes, yeah. appreciate WPA you playing this one. Uh, we wrote this several years ago, headed back from a little trip, and we've done it here before. You'll recognize it. But uh, just talking about getting away with, uh, for me, it's my wife. I love getting away with her and uh, taking the young'uns and, uh, for a day or two when we can. And uh, sometimes you just need to get away. And uh, when we were headed back, the skies were just really beautiful and uh, kind of got these words in my mind. Told my wife, just get some paper and write down if you don't mind while I drive. So uh, we wrote this one and enjoy doing it now for a number of years. called Blue Skies Ahead. Yeah. Hey! 
Several others are on the Bluegrass CD. Then we've got a Gospel CD, all Gospel. And if anybody's interested, we like to say just got a handful tonight. So if you'll see us, they're over here on the side of the stage after we're done. Well, let's let's turn this fiddle player loose over here. By the way, before we before we get down to that, y'all give a big hand to Tommy Nichols back here on the bass from Mount Mary, North Carolina. Be doing a whole lot of singing for you. And over here on this side, on your left side, uh, this fella is a fantastic fiddle player. He's also good at, at anything else. Great banjo picker and guitar, mandolin and uh, kazoo. He's good on everything, I think. But anyway, this is a tune that Sydney put together. And uh, tell them, Sydney, what, where, where it came, how it came about. Uh, the tune just kind of. I don't know, it fell out of the sky and hit me in the head, I guess, but it's something I put together. Kind of got a Monroe or maybe even a Benton Flippin' type little slide to it here and there, but I wanted to name it after a, uh, a local landmark, so I chose uh, Laurel Hill being uh, Jeff Stewart's birthplace. Yeah. I thought it kind of fit. It's kind of got an eerie feel, and it's kind of spooky up there. I guess it's nice what I've been told. So. If you don't know where it is, go down here to the stoplight, hang a lift. You'll see it. <laughs> 